What's up guys? Good morning and welcome to my channel again. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to take good care of our tilapia guys. Uh, as you can see in this pond guys, we don't have any air pump or water pump in this pond guys. So join me as I make this video guys and if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and let's go! This is my outdoor tilapia pan guys and as you can see I don't have any air pump or a water pump in this pan guys uh, what we're going to make in this content guys is I will explain some information regarding on how we can take good care of our tilapia guys uh, my water guys as you can see there are a lot of algae and it's so green it's because uh, this pond is exposed to sunlight guys and there are many fry in this pond guys so we are going to collect this and then we will see to it how fast they will grow as we are going to take good care of them This is my DIY siphon guys, uh, it helps me drain my water so fast guys. We are almost done draining our water guys and we have so many fry to collect guys as you can see there are so many of it plenty of tilapia fry guys Some of our tilapia starts to show. Wow! Big tilapia, guys. Yeah. Tilapia. They start to show, guys. They are so big now. Nah. Oh, oh, wow. Tilapia guys Wow They are so big now guys We have now here guys our tilapia uh, in this basin guys is smaller compared to the other basin guys you can see they are healthy guys and I don't have water pump I don't have an air pump 
just plain water guys and exposed to the sunlight guys uh, tilapia is a hard fish guys uh, it can adjust the pH level of the water even if it is high content of nitrogen guys but the only thing I need to do every month is we are going to make water change every month guys 100% water change and nothing to worry about rain or the direct sunlight uh, based on my experience guys doesn't matter guys as long as, as long as you always change the water every month 100% then it's okay and in this basin guys as you can see they are so big na guys and marketable size they are so big and yeah like that and every afternoon or twice a week every afternoon I feed them with an asola guys because I have plenty of asola here so that is why uh, we are going to feed to our tilapia guys asola and sometimes duckweed if we don't have feed so we can make it as their consumption guys our tilapia is now on the marketable size so big yeah, guys look at guys uh, this is all the fry that we have collected out of that pan guys uh, there are so many of them I guess it will reach up to 100 and different in size so what we are going to do is we will separate those bigger fry and then we are going to feed them to our red snapper guys so that's it guys uh, that is my way of taking good care of tilapia fish guys and if you have tilapia there in your home uh, you can make it to uh, try to observe a one month water change 100% water change every month guys uh, it is better rather than keep on changing water weekly guys uh, it drains so much water and if we have costly water then it's useless <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys see you to my next video don't forget to subscribe bye bye